Hello, welcome to Eco Tarot. This is Kensley, the Eco Tarotist, and thank you so much for coming today. This uh, this reading is for the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And so I'm gonna do I'm doing a little bit differently today, and I we'll just see how this goes. So for Taurus, we just ended. Um, No, not just ended Taurus season, sorry. Um, but what I like about this, so you've got the horse spirit, freedom is yours. The chariot, which also has um, this two-headed flying horse. Um, I don't know what you call it. Uh, the garden and the six of swords. Then you've got wax and gibbous one um, discernment. Um, the page of pentacles, the whip, and the wheel of fortune. There's part of the waxing gibbous is all about action and strong and will. And I see, I see that in the chariot fast action and, and this beautiful horse energy of, of running free and wild and, um, coupled with the garden from the Lenormand, which is, you know, social gatherings and public affairs, fame, culture, teamwork, public um, gatherings, um, single playing the field, maybe. Um, but it's, <laughs> it's about pursuing your dreams. And hold on, because this discernment card is all about not taking something for face value. Um, not assum not assuming, taking the time to, to uh, make make friends, taking the time to get to know someone you're romantically in interested in, taking the time to read the fine print before you buy something, and it's um, it's taking it slow, slowing it down, and this is all about fast energy until you get to the six of swords, which is about departure and in its reflection it's it's movement but it's a slower movement look at her she's um this is not a very happy card and this is charlie uh, italian t tiny tarot deck um look at the the um she's either dead or not doing well and this uh Rabbit is rowing her to someplace else. And look, there's a little rabbit tear. Um, God, sometimes these are really morbid cards, but um, in a childlike manner, it's kind of weird. Um, and so, but I think this is a slow moving on energy. And, and you've got all of this fast freedom, you know, being outside, being in this in public limelight. Um, and we're talking about maybe going a little bit slower because you've got in the page of pentacles, which is getting grounded in, 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 um, the earth, having curiosity, um, and you've got the whip conflict debate opposition with the wheel of fortune. And so I think, I think fate is changing and this is the change. There's a turning of the tide. It's a, it's a shift and a moving on and, and it's not the death card, but I get the death of something and moving forward to something else. Um, but you have to slow down. You want to go free. You want to be wild and, and, um, action based and jump into the limelight and, and, um, be single and free and maybe, maybe have that. You've got that, that allure to social media and society, you know, and this is saying you need to take a step back understand, look at the, 
your decisions through the um, childlike innocence, this conflict within you, and maybe this is the inner child. Oh, you have a conflict with the inner child and who you really in, in your outer self. And, but understanding this and discerning, you know, let's read a little bit about um, discernment. And I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but um, take care in your choices now. Look carefully and judge wisely. There may have been something difficult to see, something that has been obscured, but now it has been revealed to you. Examine it closely. Uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's all about, um, I take time. I take my time to be accurate and precise in my discernment. Um, and I, again, this is interesting because this part of the cycle is action and will, but it's slow. It's such a slow taking, um, a, a detailed concerning eye to it all. So I think this is someone's being Taurus. Um, I think you're being reckless with your decisions. And you need to read the fine lines. Because fate is, um, once you do that, this is, this is going to change some internal conflict within yourself. This need to um, maybe make decisions fast versus slow. I mean, this uh, page of Pentacles is the slowest page of, of, um, of all of the, the different signs. And um, I, I really feel this slow inner child needs to be looked at um, for you to move forward in your decision. Go slowly. Interesting. All right, we're gonna move forward with Virgo. And you received the rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time, with the nine of pentacles, the birds from the Lenormand, and the uh, knight of swords. Then you get pleasure, waiting gibbous too, with wheel of fortune, stork, and the ace of pentacles. Interesting how the Wheel of Fortune has already come out. Um, this is all about sensuality. Look how many birds are in this deck. Wow. You've got this independence, this maturity. This is like the Empress in Waiting. Um, you've got this anxiety card from the Lenormand, worry, anxiety, chatter, chattering, nervousness. Um, and then this fast action acting, um, Knight of Swords, which is also on a man-made bird. That's interesting. And then you've got bird wings, um, with the Wheel of Fortune, the Stork, which is all about movement. I consider this to be change, new cycle, transition, movement, like the Six of Swords, which was also in the Taurus reading. And, um, and then this beginning in something real and tangible and look at her. She's, um, oh man. Yeah. Oh, look, all these birds are on her next to her and then cracking open and coming out. Oh, cause this is an egg. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah. A, giving new life to, to something real and tangible and it all has to do with um pleasure and when i think of rabbits you know it's it's certainly a and look even the rabbit has wings <laughs> the rabbit is going to take flight um and but there's this prolific abundance energy there's um a very sexual energy um you know procreating like rabbits kind of thing um mixed with this pleasure card oh my god it's like dive into the sensual um sensuality of pleasure and and don't be so nervous about it you're in you know this is very 
independent. Um, this is the single kind of card of the deck. Um, and wow, just every single card has all of this. And look, even this has butterflies. Um, something's flight. Everything is in flight. Um, but this fast act acting, it's like truth and clarity coming in fast next to this nervousness card about this being single. Oh yeah. Okay. So you either are single or you had been single and it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to move forward in life if you're not really dating and to seek out that pleasure. And so you seek it out in other ways. You seek it out in friends and um, family and in an absolutely non-sexual way, but you, um, you know, you, you find a way to connect to people, to, um, to embrace pleasure in life. And, and sometimes that's just a wonderful dinner with friends and cooking and all of it. And so the Wheel of Fortune <laughs> is about change and move and, and faded change. And the Stork is about change. <laughs> it's a movement, new cycle. And absolutely, you cannot... I love it when it comes out like this. Okay. And there's this new beginning in something real and it's taking flight. And it's, um, I think you're nervous about taking the plunge. Um, no longer being single, Virgo. But changes are coming. There's definitely a, I think, a future for you that has a lot to do with um, relationships, connection, getting getting out of your single mindset and into a um, that that beautiful connecting relationship with doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It it can be you know, friends and, and work partnerships and, but it's all about embracing the sensuality of life. And there is major change on the horizon for you with this beginning and something real and tangible and grounded. And that's what, you know, a lot of the earth signs, they are that, that grounded energy of, um, you know, focusing on pleasure and, and getting into this, the senses in the body. So that's really interesting. All right, there we go. Let's, uh oh. Okay, so for Capricorn, you've got the Two of Pentacles, the ship and the um, High Priestess with the Page of Swords, the tree and the Nine of Pentacles, which was also in the Virgo reading. Um, and you've got realization here. Okay, so let's, I wanna read about realization. With self-awareness uh, comes a realization. Knowledge is, is power. Self-examination of your role within a situation is important. I have timely self-awareness and act upon my realizations. Um, it's about understanding, you know, if you have um, bad patterns in life or uh, behaviors that you need to understand. And it's about embracing all of you and changing what you don't, which does not serve you. And embracing, but embracing all of it. Embracing who you really are and loving yourself. And look at this. She is looking into this portal of this ocean, beautiful sunrise or sunset um, out of this darkness. Rebirth, It's a, this is self-awareness, this is self-love. 
Um, High Priestess. This is, you know, the High Priestess is um, intuition, understanding your intuition. And um, sure, it can be secrets, but I think it's secrets being revealed. I think that the ship from the Lenormans, which is this exploration and, tr and departure, is not so physical exploration. It's exploration into the self. And Two of Pentacles is about finding that balance, finding that balance within, um, and maybe within the nights and the day, the sun and the moon, you know, the bat spirits, everyone's like, this was a rebirth, it's coming. And I'm like, they like to be in the night and they're okay with the day. They, I mean, they're either crepuscular, which is most, you know, at dusk and dawn when the insects are the um, most plentiful. Um, and so they can balance between Du the, the dusk uh, of daylight and nighttime. Wow, okay. I know I'm kind of getting in order out of order, but it's just how it's coming to me. Um, with the Innocence of Swords, this Page of Swords, this is kind of the, um, you know, the stalker of the deck. <laughs> with Tree, uh, which from the Lenormand, which is extended family, having roots and grounding yourself and, and being, and then the nine of pentacles, being okay with being who you truly are. Oh yeah. This is who this, this is all about self-realization, self-worth. Um, it's death and rebirth. It's finding balance in who you really are, listening to your intuition, exploring your inner self your the why you do things the way you do and it's not the stalker card in this context it's the curiosity card of your own parts look up parts work with teal swan it's amazing it's exploring exploring looking into things having curiosity finding seeking clarity um, realization and about who you really are, what your fam family lineage was, why people did, why your ancestors did what they did and how that has come to affect you in order for you to be fully independent and, and, and 100% accepting of who you are. Wow. That's a very straightforward message. All right, Capricorn. And all of the earth signs, if you were watching the whole time, um, hope you have a great day. Bye.